Hey, pen people. I have a whole new set of fountain pen inks to show you today that were just released, like, I think a couple of weeks ago. So I'm really excited to show this to you. It's, um, sorry for the crinkly noise. It's the plastic here. Um, it is the Lepidopteran series from Andrillium Ink. Um, so it's a small ink company, um, handcrafted inks, uh, American company. And I've been following them on Instagram for quite a while, and I've had an interest in their inks um, for quite a while. They um, usually have like nature themed inks that are really cool. And this one is all based on butterflies and moths. So each ink is named after a different butterfly or moth, and each one has original artwork on it. So I haven't been able to try Andorillium inks until now, and I actually won these in a giveaway. They did a little giveaway to release their, er, their new inks and I won <laughs> actually it was like a little contest where you had to like do some kind of butterfly or moth themed art and I'm pretty sure I was the only person that entered <laughs> so if you're on Instagram looking at pen stuff keep an eye out for that kind of thing there's some fun opportunities um, so yes I got these for free but no it's not an exchange for re a review so there's nothing to disclose as far as like a you know sponsorship kind of thing um, I'm just making this video because I want to, because I'm excited. This is their sample set, and when I when I heard that um, they were giving away a set of samples, I just thought it was going to be those little plasticky vials, you know, that you just like throw away or whatever when they're empty. Um, but no, these are small glass bottles. They're half ounce bottles. Um, so this set, you can buy it, and it is fifty dollars. And if you want to buy one individual bottle of ink, um, and they'll, they'll come in like a, a larger full size. Um, it's like 14, I think 1450 right now for one larger bottle of one of these inks. So anyway, let's open this thing up and I've got my glass dip pen here. We're going to try these inks out and um, we'll see what we think. Look at all those. Those are so pretty. Love that. Here, let's take a closer look at some of these really quick. Yeah, that's fun stuff. All right, so I'm gonna move these aside. We'll take a closer look one by one. Let's do Luna Moth Green. Give it a little shake here. Oh wow, that's an intense lid. I don't know what that is in there. It's a nice seal though. And I don't know what this lid is made out of. It has almost a metallic feel, but I think it's plastic. Um, it reminds me of an Iroshizuku uh, bottle cap, so it feels high quality. Um, and that seal, I know, I know this is not about the ink, it's about the bottle, but the bottle's important a little bit. Um, it feels like it seals really well too, so that's, that's nice. Because I don't love getting a nice ink and then just dealing with a really terrible bottle. <laughs> All right, so this is Luna Moth Green. Take a little dip here. Okay, cool. Um, we'll do a little bit of a water resistance test at the end of this. I'm not expecting them to be water resistant. I'm just curious to see how water resistant they might be. Um, but that's nice. It's a nice, um, kind of pale, gentle green. I'm not very good at naming my colors, so that's as good as it's going to get, but, um, but I like it. I like that green quite a bit. I'm picky about my greens for some reason. They either look really beautiful or they just look like rotting sludge or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, so there's Luna Moth Green that back up all right let's look at atlas moth brown 
Atlas moths, by the way, are super cool. They're like huge, like dinner plate kind of thing. All right. I think I got a, a thicker dip on this one than I did with the green, so that's very, very saturated. Let me see if I can get a little bit of this off. See if it's any different. No, it's just, it's a really dark brown. Ooh, look at that. Nice, warm, kind of chocolatey color. That is, that's nice. Okay, so far, Andrelium, you are hitting it out of the park. This is awesome. All right. Oh, I could have sworn that was a monarch, but it's not. It's a viceroy. I know I know a thing or two about butterflies, but I'm not an expert by any means. So, okay. All right, we'll skip the squiggles. Wow, that is really a very saturated orange. It's like a dark, almost red orange. It's it's very close to red. Um, but gosh, that is pretty. It's very, very vibrant. So I'm liking this. Another thing I'm noticing so far Sometimes with your smaller companies, handmade inks and stuff, I've noticed that some of them can just be real gushers and just out of control. But so far these seem fairly consistent in their control. Um, my dip pen writes pretty chunky. Um, it's not really a fine kind of, kind of pen, but I still feel like I have some control. I don't feel like I'm gonna risk having a ton of feathering and you know, just ink going everywhere. It seems to be fairly well behaved, which is pretty cool. All right, so now let's look at Queen Alexandra's Birdwing Butterfly Green. Um, <laughs> I'm not writing that whole thing down. Let's go with, we'll go with Queen Green. So, just a deep, dark, kind of forest green kind of thing. Really pretty. Oh, another long name. Um, Banded King Shoemaker Butterfly Blue. I do love how they're going for things that not everyone's going to really know about. You know, like I'm not familiar with a lot of these. Um, so, I, I think that's fun. They've, they've taken it to a point where, I don't know, you, you almost feel like you're learning something <laughs> as, you, as you're using these, because you're like, oh, I didn't know that existed, but now I do. So let's just call this one, well, Banded Blue. For um, Banded King Shoemaker Butterfly Blue. All right, whoop, I'm out. So that one, somewhat dark, but not terribly dark of a blue. Yeah, it's nice. All right, let's look at tol Tollip Moth. Am I saying that right? Tollip Moth Warm. Interesting. It's the first one that doesn't have like an actual color in its name. You know, brown, green, green, blue, orange, um, just warm. Tollip moth, warm. Interesting. Yeah, it's a lighter, a lighter brown, almost grayish. That's an interesting one. I think so far, um, 
these first four are my favorite. Maybe the, the two, three, and four. Um, this one's great, but kind of more normal. This one is good, but I don't know. It just it doesn't have the pop that the other ones have. And that's not a critique, you know, like not every ink is supposed to like blind you with color. Some mellower inks in the mix is always a good thing. So, so far I'm loving all of this, but I think Atlas Moth Brown, Viceroy Butterfly Orange, and Queen Whatever Green, those are, those are my favorites. Luna Moth Green actually is really interesting too. It's such an, a, a light minty green, it's really nice. Oops, I forgot to tell you what this one is. All right, so this one is Adonis Butterfly Blue. Interesting, because it almost looks kind of purpley in there. Okay, we'll see. Ooh, that's lovely. It reminds me of a sailor ink. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, something Manio, Manio, I'm, I don't know how to say it. Um, it's blue, but there's something about it that just is different than like an ordinary blue. Also, this banded blue one, it's almost looking more teal to me now. Like there's some green in it, which I love. So anyway, wow, these are just all really interesting. All right, we've got one left. So this one, last but not least, Rosy Maple Moth Pink. Okay. Wow, that is really pretty. I'm not much of a pink ink person. I've tried one or two pink inks and haven't been a fan. I'm not much of a pink person anyway, but that's really nice. It's definitely pink, it's definitely vibrant, but there's something kind of soft about it at the same time. It almost looks edible, like candy or some kind of fruit juice or something. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, so all I can say about the colors is Andorillium, you killed it. I wasn't really sure what to expect, to be honest, but these are all really interesting colors that in their own way just have something kind of subtle and interesting going on with all of them. So yeah, these are really cool inks. So I'm going to let this sit for a minute before I do a water resistance test and then I'll kind of wrap up with some final thoughts. Okay, so I went and got a fresh jar of water because I've been dipping my glass pen in it, so it's starting to be kind of a weird color. Um, so I'm just gonna use my finger and drip some ink on here and we'll see what happens. Um, and again, I'm not expecting these inks to be permanent by any means, but I'm just curious to see if they exhibit any kind of water resistant qualities. Um, and if not, that's okay. They are pretty and they are well behaved and that would more than make up for any lack of water resistance in my mind. So far, this is interesting. Some of them are lifting, the colors are lifting pretty significantly and others, not so much. So I'm, I'm hoping that some of these will be slightly at least water resistant. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute and we'll come back to it in a second. Okay, just with my pen here, I'm gonna to start to smear these around a little bit. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. To 
to me, it's looking like every single one of these has some element of the ink that stays behind even when it's wet. Maybe some a little more successfully than others. So I'm gonna take my cloth here and just kinda of dab this up so we can get a really good look at this. Okay. Now, I didn't leave these wet for a super long time, so I don't know, maybe it would be different if I left it for longer. But as of right now, I feel like with every single one of these, if they got wet after I had written something, I would at least be able to recover what I wrote, even if it didn't look pretty. And that's all I can ask of an ink. So that's really great. I definitely wouldn't leave it wet for a super long time, but this is, this is great, especially this Atlas Moth Brown, um, that one has some pretty distinct lines there. Um, and I guess this uh, banded whatever blue, um, and maybe even this green. Anyway, so lots of good stuff going on as far as water resistance goes. And again, even if all of these were completely erased by water, it, it wouldn't mean that they're bad inks. It just would mean it's something you have to consider. Um, uh, before you make a purchase. But yeah, I really like these inks. So good job, Andrillium. These are amazing. It makes me want to try more of your inks because I, I like every single one of these. Um, so, and thank you very much for letting me be the winner of your giveaway, even though I was the only person that entered. So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right, let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you later. Bye.